Imagine all the people sharing all the world. You, you may say that I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Hope someday you'll join us And the world will live as one Either we are going to learn to live as brothers As the great Dr. King said And I don't want to hear no MAGA uh, People repeating to me what Dr. King said I'm not having it Or are we going to perish as fools now, unless you are reciting it, I don't want to hear you reciting No, I Have a Dream stuff by Dr. King. Okay? It can only be either we're going to learn to live together. I mean, you ain't even got to invite me to your birthday party. Or we're going to perish as fools. And so this was one of the most foolish things that I read. And it's like, white people, I don't really have a lot of confidence in you. Um, some of this stuff is really sad. Anyway, Disney's new live action movie, The Little Mermaid, was a huge hit for Latinos, Asians, African Americans. But, but, it wasn't for white people. Mm. Media takeout looked at the numbers and relative to the U.S. population, black Americans, Latino, Hispanic Americans, Asian Americans over index compared to their population in turnout at cinemas to watch The Little Mermaid's debut. White Americans under-indexed. So, according to the audience exit interviews, inter, you know, the exit interviews, people love Halle Bailey's new movie. The scores were great with an A cinema score. Same grade as Disney's live-action Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, and The Lion King. So that's so that's a good rating. Screen engine com score post track notch ninety one positive and a seventy six percent definite recommend while kids under twelve were over the moon at ninety two percent positive and sixty nine percent definite recommend. Heavy female leaning at sixty eight percent with 61% between the ages of 18 and 34. And the largest demographic was being the millennials, um, 25 to 34. And they was at 35%. Diversity de uh, demos among, I mean, strong across the board with 35% black, 25% Latino, and Hispanic, 20%, 6% Caucasian, and 11% Asian. Most vibrant lands for Ariel were the South, East, and South Central. So, how do these demographic numbers compare to the U.S. Census data? Well, it was confirmed that this is the demographic of the U.S. And the numbers in parentheses are the percentage of people who watched Little Mermaid opening the opening weekend. White, 59.3 versus 26% who saw the movie. Latino, Hispanic. 18.9 versus 25% who saw the movie. Black, 
13.6 versus 35% who saw the movie. Asian, 6.1 versus 11% who saw the movie. Interesting. Well, that came from media takeout, and they said the uh, black, Hispanic, and Asian showed up in huge numbers for The Little Mermaid. However, our white counterparts did not. You know, and what's really sad about it, y'all are so arrogant and pompous in some cases, not all, in most cases. That you don't even think about. Like I come from the generation. And I'm thinking about how they messed our minds up. Our minds. that If we were born in the 60s. 70s. I would say the 70s. Maybe a little better. But especially if you was born in the 50s. The mid 50s to late 50s. And to watch all those shows like Maverick. Leave it to Beaver. Lassie. Um, that we really like because we were still just kids. Kids are kids. Leave it to Beaver. And not one damn black kid. I mean, it's 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 really fucked. It's really fucked up. And you wonder, it's like y'all really like it like this, huh? A hypocrisy in a world that looks just like you. Nobody else, no other color, except we a rainbow. And God made us, and we just as important. And the fact that y'all had every one of them damn shows. And I'm like, what, they didn't have no quality control? Y'all was so psychotic that you made all them shows for kids and couldn't even represent um, the children that were watching the show. So I know where y'all come from. Y'all, y'all, that's so sick. And it wasn't until, I think, 1968 where Julia was finally allowed her a TV show. But what would it have hurt to put a black kid and leave it to Beaver? What would it have hurt to put a black guy in the rifleman? What would it have hurt? To put a black child in Lassie. Black people got animals too. That's a sick mind. That think only them is supposed to exist and everybody else should be done away with. Although God made the human family. I mean that. And and here you are now with your same antics. Mad. Because Ariel is brown. I don't give a damn about nothing. You up, oh, you made all the shit we had to take from y'all. And y'all couldn't even let us have one day. Couldn't even let us have a black mermaid without you up in arms. Y'all is just really some sick people. That's all I can say. And those of y'all who I'm talking to, I'm talking to. If the shoe don't fit, don't even trip. But if it does, I want you to wear it and wear it good because you need help. You need help. And with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. Share the video. I'd like to welcome all of my new subscribers. I really appreciate y'all being out there. I thank you for joining the, the channel. Um, I appreciate you spending the time to listen to my videos. And I wish you a good day. Hey, and if it's not too much, why don't y'all do something? Uh, those of y'all who um, want to or who have joined the channel, why don't you tell me, um, give me your email addresses so I can start lining up when the newsletter becomes ready. Or if we're ever disconnected off of uh, YouTube, I can continue to correspond and, and communicate with y'all. I would really appreciate it. I thank y'all for being out there, each and every one of you. Thank you for supporting this channel. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.